So this is the amplifier section of my PV Viper VIP2 40 watt guitar amp. All of a sudden, while I was playing, it would turn itself off and reboot and turn itself back on. And after a little while, it started doing this two, five, 10, 20 times in a row. Uh, and then and it sometimes it wouldn't come back at, on at all unless I thumped the case. Thumping the case would stabilize it for a few minutes until it would go into the routine of turning itself off and clicking, click, 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 click over and over again as it tried to restart. This is not a good sign. Um, so I took it apart. To do that, it's pretty simple. There are four screws from the top of the case uh, that you have to loosen. And in the back, there's four screws in the back that you have to get at um, to take the amplifier section off. To get to those screws in the back, you have to take the back panel off the, uh, off the uh, cabinet. Um, anyway, then it just slides out the front. You pull it out, the, you disconnect it from the speaker, um, and uh, slide it out the front, and you have the amplifier section. So what, what do you see when you open this thing? Um, well, you see there's basically three boards in there. And from looking online, and also just from looking at the construction of the, the thing, this green board is the electronic effects board. Okay, so... Um, given that the light show lit up when you turn the thing on uh, without a guitar plugged in, you know, a, a PV feature, and, and given that uh, the electronics seemed to work, that was probably not the problem. So that leaves two other boards to deal with. This one here is the power supply board. How do I know that? Well, it's got the transformer on it, and two, it's upside down here, but it says power supply board, partially covered up by that uh, sticker. Um, and then this third board, uh, not being an electronics guy, it's not clear what it does, but it generates a tremendous amount of heat. You can see that it's actually hooked into the wall of the, the metal uh, cabinet with heat sink paste. And uh, if you touch that while the guitar is running, particularly if you're putting out significant wattage, it gets very, very hot. So it had to be one of these two features that were broken. Uh, I looked online um, and it's there was some suggestion that it would be this board, which makes sense, power supply board. Um, and, uh, you know, suggesting to chest all the voltages and things like that. But it turns out I have a second unit like this, uh, a much older one that um, had failed in a totally different way when these switches uh, stopped, when these uh, strange types of electronic uh, pots stopped working properly and even cleaning them didn't do any good. So I had a second supply board. So I just plugged it in. It's held on by, I think, five screws, uh, a couple of screws on the plug here, these lugs to the plug, this grounding lug, um, and then three screws in the board. If you undo all of that, the thing pops off. You have a ribbon cable, which you have to unhook very carefully with a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, and then I could put the new board in. Right now it's just held in by one or two screws for the purpose of this demonstration. In any case, when I put the new power supply board in, um, it works great. Um, in fact, it kind of sounds pretty good sitting on the floor, facing down into the floor uh, with this uh, uh, amp section sitting on top. So the problem was, in fact, the power supply board. So if you have the oft-sighted problem where the unit turns itself off and then back on, sometimes 5, 10, 20 times in a row um, until you either whack it or turn it off and then turn it back on. It appears that that common problem with these amplifiers is due to a bad power supply board. Now, most people aren't going to have a second version of this amp sitting around. Uh, for $106 plus shipping and tax, PV will sell you a new power supply board. Seems like a lot of money for an amp that costs $260 for the whole thing, but uh, at least it is repairable. Uh, and you don't have to speculate, I don't think, if you're seeing that behavior in your amp where it turns itself off over and over and, over and tries to reboot over and over and over again, it is a power supply board issue. And if you're willing to spend $106 plus shipping and tax, get a new power supply and you'll probably be fine if you can install it without causing any damage. Anyway, so that answers that question, which as far as I can tell, has not been previously answered on the internet. Thank you very much.